So, hey guys, I just wanted to get on here really quick. Um, I know it's bad quote lighting, but I did do a vlog today, just um, some couponing shopping. So, really, mostly just a haul. So, I will upload that in with this. And, um, yeah, just a real quick update where I've been and why I haven't been uploading videos. Um, I was so sick the last couple of days, and now my husband's sick. But you can probably still hear it in my, it's like in my nose and just it feels like it's in my chest still. But um, I was really sick um, for the last couple of days. And then, um, that's about it. Then Ford, my dog, he's a lab. Um, he was limping for a couple of weeks. And it seems like time goes so fast because like my nan passed away and then my car broke down. And then uh, I got sick and now Ford. Um, he's a little overweight. He doesn't get as much exercise probably as he should. So he was limping. I didn't think too much really about it, to be honest with you, because he had um, arthritis when he was a puppy because um, he just grew too big too fast. So I had some arthritis pills um, that the vet had given me before, and I thought he just sprained something because um, he didn't really do anything that strenuous. So um, we left him go, and um, he was still limping, so I figured I'd take him into the doctor and took him to the vet. They gave him x-rays. Of course, they had to sedate him to give him an x-ray because my dog's like crazy hyper. So he was like jumping all over the place, and they had to give him a shot to calm him down to even take the x-ray. And um, you took him in there, and you wouldn't even know his leg was sore because he was just jumping and running towards all these other dogs and everything. I mean, he was still good in spirit, but... Um, Anyway, they gave him an x-ray, and it came back. I'll put a picture of the x-ray here. It came back. It was his knee. His kneecap wasn't attached to his muscle, and then he had a little fragments of bone that were in there that they had to scrape out, and then he had a torn ligament, and then his muscle or something was flapped over, um, like a laundry list of stuff. So the vet's telling me this, and I'm thinking, this is going to be really expensive. Um, cause he said it, he needed surgery or he wouldn't get better. So, um, I left him there and he got surgery and, um, he is coming home tomorrow. So I'll do a coming home vlog probably tomorrow picking him up. But, um, he has a lot of stitches and his leg's going to be wrapped and he's not going to be really able to do anything other than just go outside and pee and come back in the house. Um, no steps know nothing um, other than just a couch potato, which he's really good at being a couch potato. So, um, and then he'll go back to get his stitches out in a couple of weeks. But four months, he's not allowed to do anything, and he has to be on a leash, which he's never been on a leash. And um, that's going to be interesting because holding a 110-pound dog back when he doesn't want to sometimes is difficult because we have a lot of land, so normally he just does whatever he wants to do. But, um... Glad he's okay. I'm like worried sick about him. It's been three days. He hasn't been here and it's just not the same without him. And my animals can tell like he's not here and they're acting really weird. So I'll go pick him up in the morning. But he came out of surgery. The vet called me today and said he was doing great. Um, they just like to keep an eye on him, you know, the first day just to make sure everything's okay and everything. So i um, really thankful about that. So I'll do a vlog on that tomorrow. I'm like rambling on. Um, we went to go look at the new Beatles today. And I was going to record and I forgot. I test drove it. I liked it, but to be honest with you, I like my old one. Um, a little bit better. The style is completely more, it looks like a Porsche, but it just lost like that Volkswagen-ish look. I guess they were going for the more masculine look. Um, still thinking about it. I don't know really what I want to do. I mean, my car that I have now, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. It's paid for. Um, I mean, of course, a new car is like nice, but like the inside honestly was the same thing that I have in my car now. Um, so I'm not sure really, especially with building a house and everything, but my husband loves cars, so I don't know. Really kind of up in the air about that. Probably think about that. But, um, trying to think what else. That's pretty much about it. Oh, the new iPhone 5 comes out. I have the 4, and, um, it comes out. You can order it, I think, October 5th. So I'm super excited because I'm getting the iPhone 5, and then my husband's going to take over mine, um, 4 for me. Um, just because, I don't know, I just feel like I have to upgrade as soon as something comes out. That's like, I'm bad like that, but that's just how I am. 
Um, and I love my phone. I really do, but um, time to upgrade, I guess, when a new one comes out. So um, this is a cute picture. Oops. Can you just tell that is? Anyway, it's my Nan and um, the boys, so I thought that was really cute. They had school pictures today, so they got school pictures, and um, which I think that's pretty much about it. I will have a haul soon, um, clothing haul. I got rid of a ton of clothes, so I'm going to um, upgrade, I guess, that. So I'll be shopping um, for fall and stuff like that. I love, like, hoodies and sweaters and fall weather, so... I'm going to be um, shopping on that, and I might do a couple clips of the new house. Um, it's not nearly done at all, but I might show you some things that i um, just been doing and things like that over there maybe tomorrow because I want to get my Halloween stuff out to decorate. So that is pretty much about it. I will get into my extreme couponing haul for today. If you guys have any questions or anything, definitely just ask. I have a lot of DIYs. Like I said, I have to get uploaded and edited. Um, and maybe I'll work on it probably next week because tomorrow I'll be running around playing vet um, and things like that. So uh, maybe this weekend, but most likely Monday I'll have the DIYs up. I'm going to try to do a vlog every day um, this weekend and things. So we'll see what I get done. I did get my nails done. I just got that shatter by um, OPI on it. So I don't know. They just needed filled, and um, I kind of want to do something different with them, so I might just take the polish off and do something. But I like them. They're cute. So anyway, rambling on, um, here's the vlog for today, and I will talk to you guys soon. I'm back, I'm healthy, and I promise I'll have uploaded videos more regularly. So you guys take care, and here is what I bought today. Okay, so I have been sick. I have been using like tissues like crazy. So this week for coupon shopping, isn't that great? Um, I have a 50 cent off coupon for Kleenex. And then I have a dollar off any two. They're two for four right now at Rite Aid. So I'm going to go pick some of those up. Um, nothing too exciting other than that there. Um, then I'm going to go to CVS. I have four dollars in extra care bucks. Um... I had a rain check that I got um, six of them for two ninety nine each, and after you spend where is it? After you spend twenty, you get ten dollars back. So I have a whole bunch of these two dollar off um, coupons for finish, and they're also I have a whole stack of those, and then they're also on sale at Rite Aid. They're buy one get one free, or they're on sale. At Dollar General for two fifty, so um, I'm gonna see which one's a better deal. Um, then I'm gonna use those up because I have like a whole bunch of them, and you can never have enough of that. So I figured I would use those up at Rite Aid or Dollar General. So I'm gonna go to those three places. I'm gonna stop and get my nails done because they're like a hot mess, and um, yeah. I'll show you what I got at CVS yesterday. I just got some Tide. Milani was buy one, get one half off. And then you got $4 back, I think. So I got this Milani um, just eyeliner. And then I got another eyeliner. I was looking for the pencil everybody's telling me about, but they're sold out. They only had, like, the silver and, like, I don't know, it was an ugly color. Then I had a rain check on the Ben Gay. I had $5 off, so these were $0.49 cents each. I got two of those, and that was pretty much it for CVS, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree, and we'll go around today. I haven't done a vlog forever, so let's go. So I got my nails done. I just did, like, a hot pink with, like, shatter on top. So, yeah, now I'm off to CVS. It's raining and an ugly day, and traffic's, like bad. It's a stupid lane shut down, but oh well. Maybe I'll go to Target and do some shopping. Okay, so I'm going to show you these because I'm not actually going to take these in the house. I got a whole bunch of the finish. Like a whole bunch. I had, um, oh, 
I had a rain check from CVS last week that they were on sale for $2.99, and if you spent $20, you got $10 back. So I paid six something for six of them, and then I got $10 back. So I actually made $4 on every six ones that I bought. So I have a good bit of finish. And then I got these Kleenex just at Rite Aid. I had a dollar off coupon video value, and then I had a 50 cent off coupon. They were two for four, so um, I had a $1.50 off that. Take those in. And then with my $10 that I got back at CVS from these finish, I got this. And it's just a little tree, but it holds jewelry and stuff like that, earrings. Let me see if I can see a better picture. Like that. There. So it holds necklaces and earrings and all kinds of stuff. So I technically got that for free because I got it back with the um, uh, extra care box that I got back for them. So that is my haul today. Okay, so last things at CVS that I got today were these coconut M&Ms. I have been buying these small bags if you follow me on Facebook forever. I could never find the big bag of these. And I finally did. And these were for something. I had a dollar off coupons, so we'll say three eighteen. But I had three dollars in extra care bucks. I paid eighteen cents for these. And then the Milani. My nose is all stuffed up, you guys. I'm sorry. This is the um, Liquifine, Liquify Eye Metallic Eye Pencil, and it's in black. I think this is the eye pencil that everybody's been telling me to get. So I got two of them. And if you spent ten dollars, you got um, four dollars back in extra care bucks. So I still have $4 credit for CVS next week, but I definitely wanted to pick these up. And everybody says they're good, so I just grabbed two. So yeah, that was my haul today. I'm going to try to clean up my house, and I don't know. I have so much stuff to do. And then I went to my post office, and they have like this recycling bin. I have more of these. I have probably 20 more in my car. The smart source that was in our mailbox this week... Everybody throws them away. Like, that's throwing money away. So I picked all these up, and I have more. But I'll probably just um, give some away, some coupons for a giveaway or something. But there is a good coupon in here. I'm trying to find it. There's a dollar off candy for Halloween, which we'll need because we got to get stuff. Just all kinds of stuff. So everybody throws all these away. Like literally, here's a dollar. Save a dollar on any body wash for soft soap. And I know you can get that for 19 cents at Walmart. So even just that coupon alone was worth me digging through that dumpster. It wasn't a dumpster. It was like a recycling bin. But um, yeah, so I picked up all those. I don't know why everybody's throwing them away. But anyway, that was my free find today. I was excited about it. Oh, I forgot. I stopped at Dollar General and I got this eyeshadow and this one is in Tea Time. LA Colors. And then I needed a new eyeliner brush. This isn't my favorite eyeliner brush, but I just picked it up for right now. Just the e.l.f. one and then I got another shadow brush which, believe it or not, I have a ton of brushes and this one, I promise you, is my favorite one that I always grab. Just a cheap little dollar one from e.l.f. So... That was Dollar General, and I did bring all my finish in. I have more back there, but I'm going to pack those up and take to the property. And maybe I'll do a little tour of the house while I'm over there to show you guys where we're coming from.